Father, we thank you tonight. We thank you for giving us the privilege to come before your presence. We just want to say thank you, Jesus. Lord, as we wait for others to join us, we just want to thank you so very much tonight. We plead the blood of Jesus. We plead the blood of Jesus. The blood of Yeshua. The blood of Jesus over this phone line. That Lord, there will be mighty deliverance. In the name of Jesus Christ, by the precious blood of Jesus Christ, there will be healing. There will be salvation. People's prayers will be answered even in the name of Jesus Christ. Father God, I pray that the blood of Jesus Christ will supersaturate this phone line. That no demon, no principalities, no witchcraft, no sorcery will be able to block the free flow, O Lord Almighty, of our prayers from ascending to your throne of grace, O Lord. So, Lord, I release the blood of Jesus Christ to overthrow, to remove every resistance, even in the name of Jesus Christ. Every plans of the enemy, every territorial spirit, every spirit that will try to prevent us from praying, every spirit that will try to block our prayers. Father, tonight I take authority in the name of Jesus Christ. I stand on the platform of Calvary. I stand on the blood of Jesus Christ and declare and decree and overthrow them in the name of Jesus Christ. I throw, overthrow them. I root them out. I pull them down. I destroy their plans and their evil imagination tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray that, Father God, you do an awesome work tonight. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ that, Father, tonight you do an awesome work tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray for deliverance. We pray for deliverance. We pray for deliverance on this phone line tonight, even in Jesus' name. I release the power of the blood of Jesus Christ to confuse every witchcraft activities, to confuse any territorial activities, to, to come against every spirit of doubt and unbelief. I release the precious blood of Jesus Christ on this phone line in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I pray that everyone who will come on this phone line, I pray that, Father, they will never live the same as they came. I pray that they will live blessed even in the name of Jesus Christ. So, Lord, I pray that, Father God Almighty, you, O oh Lord, will do a new thing tonight on this phone line. Even in Jesus' name, I release the power of the precious blood of Jesus. The precious blood of Jesus. I, I soak this phone line in the precious blood of Jesus. Anyone who is calling and praying, I pray that their prayers will be answered. For your word says that we should be anxious for nothing. But in all things, by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, we should make our requests be made known to you. So, Father, tonight, as we come to you, as we seek your face, as we run to you, Father God, your word says that the name of our Lord Jesus, it's a strong tower. The righteous run into it and they are saved. Father, tonight save us. Father, tonight rescue us. Father, tonight deliver us. Father, tonight bless us. Father, tonight to Lord show us your glory. Father, tonight show us your goodness. I pray releasing the blood of Jesus Christ on this phone line. That Father, there will be a blessing on this phone line. Anyone who calls in, I pray that your angels will visit them in a unique way. Whatever issue, whatever problem that they bring to you, O oh Lord Almighty, as they pray on this phone line tonight. Father, I pray that, Lord, you hear their prayers, O oh Lord, and answer them even in Jesus' name. Show them your goodness. Show them your glory. Show them your power. Show them your faithfulness, even in the name of Jesus Christ. I thank you and I bless your name because you are a good God and your goodness and your mercies endure it forever and ever. Amen and amen. Amen. Hello, precious one. We thank God. Hi. We thank God and I thank God for your life for joining me tonight for another time of prayer. Please um, just make sure you mute your phone so that people can hear me as we pray. So do well to mute your phones. Before we pray, I just want to encourage you with the word of the Lord. Uh, if you want to mute it, it's star six, star six. Just mute your phone as we pray. Uh, I want to encourage you before we pray. Um, when we read Lamentation, Lamentation chapter 3 verse 22 to 24 lamentation 3 verse 22 to 24 this is what god is saying to you and i tonight i want you to know that the time you are praying you are not wasting your time because prayer gives you unlimited access into the throne room of god prayer gives you an unlimited access to come before god and bring your petition bring your supplication bring your prayers to him and god answers prayer but the bible says that 
the, the fervent prayer of the righteous man availeth much. The fervent prayer of the righteous man. We are righteous not because of our own self-righteousness. We are righteous because of what Jesus Christ did for us on Calvary 2,000 years ago. And so because we are born again, we are you no know, we right righteousness means that right standing with God. And the Bible says that through prayers, Elijah could stop the heavens rain from falling for three and a half years. Elijah was just an ordinary man like you and I, but he prayed fervently and he had faith in his prayer. And God answered his prayer that God shut the heavens for three and a half years, three years and six months. And when Elijah wanted there to be rain, he prayed again fervently. And the Bible says God heard him and prayer came down, meaning that God has given you the power and the authority to provoke him and challenge him to do the impossible in your life as you pray tonight i want you to know that any mountain that stands before you will be removed every sickness will disappear every problem that you are you find yourself cornered in god will rescue you because when you begin to pray the angels of the lord are on assignment to come and help you because that's what the bible says that ask and it shall be given to you seek and you shall find knock and the door shall be open to you the bible says that call unto me and i will answer you and show you great and awesome things which you do not know tonight i want you to know that god wants to do an awesome thing in your life in my life but we are commanded to pray unless we pray we will never see the glory of god in our lives lamentations chapter 3 verse 22 to 24 says that the steadfast love of the lord never ceases the steadfast love the steadfast love of god never ceases i want you to know that the love of god the love of jesus christ the love of your heavenly father towards you never never ceases. don't ever think that because of what you are going through because of the challenges you are going through because your prayers have been delayed god doesn't love you he clearly is stating to you in lamentation chapter 3 verse 22 to 24 says that the steadfast love of the lord never ceases that's what the bible says that who can separate us from the love of God who what can separate you the steadfast love God loves you God loves me I want you to I want this to be registered in your spirit that whatever you are going through, God knows it. That's what the Bible says that all things, whether good, whether bad, whether ugly, they are all working together for your good. For them that love the Lord and are called according to his, his purposes. If you love the Lord, I want you to know that his steadfast love for you will never cease. And because God is love, he will show you his goodness. It goes on to say that his mercies, his mercies never come to an end. The mercies of the Lord, the mercies, the mercies of the Lord never comes to an end. Mercy means that things you don't even deserve. The Lord shows you mercy. The Lord shows you mercy. His mercies also never come to an end. First, remember that tonight Jesus is telling you that his love for you is steadfast. It never ceases. His love for you will never cease. And his mercies, his mercies for you will never come to an end. They are new every morning. Every morning, great is the faithfulness of God towards you. Great is his faithfulness. Every single morning that you sleep and you wake up, God's love, God's mercies are always with you and his faithfulness are always with you. And so don't you ever think that you are all alone going through your struggles, going through your problems. God doesn't care about you. Uh, how come God is, God is not listening to me? God sees what you are going through and he wants you to know that he loves you and he's thinking about you and he has a solution for you. He wants you to also know that his mercies towards you will never Never come to an end and his faithfulness are renewed every morning great is his faithfulness towards you the lord is my portion says my soul therefore i will hope in him therefore i will hope in him tonight we are putting our confidence we are putting our hopes in our lord jesus christ and i want you to know that god will show you his goodness god will show you his message god will show you his faithfulness tonight God is going to show you his love. God is going to show you his mercy. God is going to show you his faithfulness. Because God is faithful, you, he cannot fail you. God is too faithful to fail you. So no matter what you are going through, remember, God is too faithful to fail me. Because God is too faithful, he cannot fail me. Whatever he has said concerning my life, concerning my family, concerning my children, concerning my purpose and my destiny, according to his word, he 
he will certainly be faithful to his word. God is not a man who should lie, nor the son of man who should repent on his word. Whatever he has said and declared and decreed and prophesied concerning your life and my life will surely, surely, certainly, definitely come to pass. God is going to show you mercy. Just as blind but Timios cried out to say, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. Tonight, God is going to show you mercy. He is going to pause and address your issue. He is going to pause and address your marriage. He is going to pause and address your finances, your family, your children. Whatever situation, Jesus will show you mercy tonight. So tonight, remember that you are loved by Jesus. Remember that God's mercy is with you. And also remember that God is too faithful to fail you. He says that He is merciful. His mercy will never end. And His faithfulness towards you are renewed every morning. So let's, uh, let us keep on putting our confidence in him. Don't ever lose hope. Don't ever be discouraged. Don't feel that the problem you are going through is overwhelming. So God is not interested in you. God wants you to know that he is still thinking and planning something good in store for you. That's why all things, whether good or bad and ugly, are working together for your good. Joseph said, my brothers intended evil against me, but the Lord turn it for my good. Whatever the devil thinks he's doing against you, he doesn't know that all the things he's doing is just to propel you to a glorious future, to bring you to an expected end, to bring you to the best of God for your life. As a child of God, all things are working together for you. This is what the Lord wants me to encourage you tonight, that he loves you so much, he loves you dearly, that's why he was willing to sacrifice his own son to come and die for you. Even when you and I were sinners and we were rebelling against him, Jesus came to die for you and I. How much more now that you are a child of God? Will not God freely give to you whatever you desire? Whatever you desire, He will give it to you. He will answer your prayers. So have faith that as you pray tonight, He will answer you. Remember that God is also going to show me mercy. God is going to show you mercy tonight, even in the name of Jesus. And also remember that the faithfulness of the Lord is coming to pass. Whatever God has said, whatever you read the scriptures and the scriptures were speaking to you, whatever the man of God spoke into your life, whatever God has spoken to you through dreams, whatever God has sp spoken to you through his still small voice, whatever God has addressed into your life, remember that he's faithful and he will certainly keep his promise tonight, even in the name of Jesus. So I want you to release your faith tonight. Have faith. Have faith tonight. And believe that as we pray, God himself will show you his goodness and his mercy. So please, let's start our prayers by thanksgiving. The Bible says that we will enter into his gate with thanksgiving and into his court with praise. So join me as we go before our Heavenly Father and begin to praise and thank him for his goodness. So let's pray and thank God for today, for giving us the grace and...